As you might be aware, Nest.js is a relatively new framework within the Node.js ecosystem. It fully supports TypeScript and uses principles of object-oriented programming. We can use Nest.js to build server-side applications such as microservices or REST APIs. Over the years, Nest.js has grown in popularity by leaps and bounds. If GitHub is any indication of a framework's position within the development community, Nest.js is on second place with almost 51,000 stars at the time of making this video. This is a pretty good number compared with Express.js having almost 58,000 stars despite being around for much longer. Even if we consider Google Trends, the search term Nest.js has seen a massive worldwide jump in search interest during the last couple of years. In my view, it is beneficial for developers to explore Nest.js. Along with the advantage of being in high demand, Nest.js also offers a much more disciplined way of building applications in the Node.js ecosystem. While it does make things more opinionated, it has more or less done what Spring Boot did for the Java ecosystem. However, as with all frameworks, Nest.js also has its own quirks. In the background, Nest.js also uses HTTP server frameworks such as Express and Fastify. Basically, Nest.js provides a layer of abstraction over Express and Fastify frameworks, but it also exposes their APIs to the developer. This helps developers use any available third-party packages for the underlying server framework. The question, however, is whether we should use Express or Fastify to build Nest.js applications and how should we go about enabling one of them for our Nest.js application. In this video, both the questions will be answered. There are a couple of options to get started with a Nest.js project, using the Nest CLI or cloning a starter project. In my opinion, it is better to use the Nest CLI. Apart from helping to scaffold a project, Nest CLI also provides several other features such as generating modules and controllers. In order to use the Nest CLI, we first need to install the Nest.js CLI package globally using npm. You would need Node.js and npm installed on your system to run this particular command. The G flag here stands for global. Once the CLI is installed, we can generate a new project using this CLI. This command will create a new project directory flight service with initial Nest.js files as well as supporting modules. It will also generate the basic structure of the project. When you execute this command, it will prompt you for a choice of package manager. You can choose between npm or yarn. For our demo, we will go with npm. While Nest CLI generates a project based on recommended best practices, we can also create a new project manually from scratch. To do so, we need to install the core Nest.js and its supporting packages. Once the packages are installed, we can create our own project structure. Unless you have some very specific requirements, I won't recommend going down this route. It would instead be better to stick with the CLI. When we scaffold a project using the Nest CLI, we get a project directory with a bunch of subfolders and files. The core files are present in the source directory itself. There is a specific use for each file. The app.controller.ts is a basic controller with a single example route. app.controller.spec.ts is a file containing the unit tests for the controller. app.module.ts is the root module of our Nest.js application. app.service.ts is a demo service class with a single method. main.ts is the application entry file that creates the Nest.js application instance. As you can notice, all of these are TypeScript files. Nest.js supports both TypeScript and vanilla JavaScript. However, the creators of Nest.js officially recommend using TypeScript. The use of TypeScript allows us to use the features of Nest.js in a much better way. This is how the main.ts file of our project looks like. So what is going on over here? As discussed earlier, the main.ts file is the entry point to our Nest.js application. It contains an async function called bootstrap that will bootstrap our entire application. Bootstrapping means loading a particular program into the system's memory for execution. Essentially, it is the first piece of code that runs when we try to start our application. On a high level, the bootstrap function is creating a Nest application instance by using the core Nest Factory class. The Nest Factory class is part of the Nest.js core package. Basically, the Nest Factory class exposes a few static methods to create an application instance. The create method is one such static method. It takes the application root module as input and returns an application or the app object. This app object uses the iNest application interface. The app object has several methods we can use to control our application. However, currently we are only interested in starting up a basic HTTP listener using the listen method. 
the listen method takes the port number as input and makes our application listen to incoming http requests we can run the starter project quite easily by executing the npm run start command this command starts up the application the http server will listen on port 3000 defined in the main.ts file we can open a browser and navigate to localhost 3000 to see the default hello world message hard coded in the starter controller we can also start our application in watch mode using the command npm run start colon dev in this mode the local server will watch for code changes to automatically recompile and reload the server this is great for development in case you are wondering these commands are defined in the script section of the package.json file having understood the bootstrapping process and running our starter project we can now focus on the original question how to configure our nestjs application to use express or fastify technically nestjs is a platform agnostic framework in other words nestjs can work with any node based http framework after creating an adapter for the same the primary function of such an adapter is to proxy middleware and request handlers to the chosen platform out of the box nestjs supports two platforms the platform express uses the express framework by default nestjs uses the express platform and we don't have to make any changes to the starter project if we intend to go with express platform fastify is a second option and it uses fastify as the underlying http framework to use fastify we have to explicitly specify the same in the main.ts file nestjs supports these platforms by exposing their own interface the platform express exposes nest express application we can instruct the nest factory dot create method to return the app object of a specific platform type for example to specify express we tweak the main.ts file and import nest express application from the nestjs platform express package of course in the case of express we don't need to do it explicitly if nothing is specified in the create method our application will automatically use express however in order to work with fastify we need to install the platform fastify package using this command once the installation is done we need to enable fastify adapter within the main.ts file at the time of bootstrapping the nestjs application as you can see we pass the nest fastify application type to the nest factory dot create method The nest fastify application type is imported from the newly installed package. Also, the create method takes an additional argument as input an instance of fastify adapter class. By default, fastify listens on 127.0.0.1 only. Therefore, to accept connections on other hosts, we specify 0.0.0.0 in the call to the listen method. Now we know how to use express or fastify with nestjs, but when should we use one over the other? In my view this depends on what we are trying to achieve with the application. The advantage of using Express is the large number of third party libraries that are available in the Express ecosystem. It is a very mature framework with a great community support and documentation. Since it has been around for so long, it is also easy to find developers with knowledge about Express. Moreover, the platform Express doesn't require you to perform any additional setups. Fastify on the other hand is geared towards high performance. According to the developers of Fastify, the framework can support up to 30,000 requests per second. In essence, Fastify promises high performance with low overhead. Ultimately, I feel that if you don't have any crazy performance requirements, it might be better to stick with NestJS with Express as the underlying platform. So, have you been using NestJS in your projects? If yes, which platform did you go with? Express or Fastify? and what were your experiences using those platforms i would love to hear your views about the whole topic so please do share your thoughts in the comment section below and also if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and don't forget to press